Hey everyone, we're really pleased to announce the release of software 1.3.1. This is a minor bug release, mostly with a few features. So in this release, uh, you're going to get an extra fixture group, which is really exciting. There's also going to be some updates on how profiles in the library speak with fixture profiles in the patcher and vice versa. So you can transfer between the two. You're also going to be able to black out a fixture group on silence, which is really exciting. Uh, there'll be some minor updates to MIDI and also some minor updates to how gobos and prisms work. All right, let's get into it. We're stoked to add another fixture group to Maestro DMX. If you go to the show page, you'll see that there's now primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Who would have thought? Quaternary is the fourth group. And as well as adding a fourth fixture group, you can now also rename your fixture groups so you don't need to call them primary or quaternary or whatever. To change the name, you go to the stage, go to layout, and you pick the group that you want to change. So if we go to primary, we can change it to, let's just call it A. If I save that now, it's going to be called A. If we go back to show, that group is now called A. And likewise, I can go and say change the secondary group to let's call it movers and you'll see that in the show my second group here is now called movers and on the stage uh, I can change in the patcher I can change any fixture to be on those groups with those names. All right, and now we'll talk a little bit about the improvements to the stage and the ability to save fixtures from the patcher into the library and vice versa to replace fixtures in the patcher with profiles in the library. So to do this, we're going to create a new stage. Uh, you'll notice there's a, this is slightly different than before. The add button up here has been changed to a three dot menu. So we'll add a stage, we'll just call it mover. It's going to ask me if I want to load the stage. Yes, there's nothing on it at the moment. And you also notice that we have added an add fixture button. So we'll click add fixture. I'm going to put an intimidator 110 spot on the primary fixture group. We'll save that. Uh, now we have that stage with that intimidator spot. So if I open this fixture up, I'm in the patcher. If I open it up by clicking this triangle, I can see all of the channels of that fixture. So let's say, for instance, that I want to set the, the uh, pan and tilts of this fixture. I can go and edit this. I can change the offset. Let's say change it to negative 46. And maybe we want to change the tilt to positive 43. You'll see here that the offsets have changed. I also may want to go in and disable some of my gobo channels. So maybe I'll get rid of, say, gobos 2 three and four, and I'll save those. So I made a few changes. I can make any other changes I want. And now what I can do is if I click up here in these three dots, I can go ahead and I can save this as a profile. So if I hit save as a profile, so I'll just call this uh, my test, intermediate spot my test. Um, you'll also notice a bit more information coming up here around specifying the part number and the category of your, of your fixtures. This is also new to 1.3.1. Uh, so you can now categorize your fixtures and add any notes you want. Anyway, I'm going to save this as either a new profile or I can add it as a mode to an existing profile. So I'm actually going to save it as a new profile for now. So I'll save it. And if I jump over to fixture profiles, I'll search for my intimidator spot 110. There it is. So I can verify that the offsets here and here are where I set them. 
And if I open up my gobos, you can see that those gobos are in fact disabled. Um, so now if I want to use that fixture profile in the future on a stage, it will maintain those settings. And uh, vice versa, I can also make an update here in the fixture profile page and then replace any fixture on my stage with that profile. So let's go ahead and just uh, for testing purposes, change this color wheel channel. Uh, we'll change it to a zoom channel, say. So now the channel six is now zoom. And let's say I wanna change the shutter value to 255. This, okay, so now this strobe channel with the shutter attribute is set to 255. I now change channel six to zoom. If I go back to my stage, to my intimidator spot, I can go, replace from profile. So I'm gonna actually replace this picture which is patched into the stage with the profile I just modified. So if I go and type 110, it brings up all of the different modes. So here's the one I, I changed, I called it my test. So if I save that now, you'll see that this channel six is now in fact the zoom channel because I changed it. And this strobe channel, which is has a shutter attribute has been set to 255. So that makes going back and forth between the fixture profile library and your patch on the stage a lot easier now. So if you need to make any edits, you can do that and it's not a big hassle. All right, moving on, we've also added the ability for a fixture group to black out on silence. So for any given fixture group, you now have a toggle. So when that toggle is on, if Maestro detects silence in the audio input, it will just black out that fixture group. So it can be really handy if you say have uh, a set of wash fixtures at the back of your stage, you just want them to turn off when the song ends, that will do it. So pretty straightforward, that exists on all of the fixture groups. And we have some updates to the MIDI specification where you can trigger different MIDI note ons for both momentary and latching controls of the trigger buttons. So previously you could only hit the trigger buttons momentary. So that means while the MIDI note on is pressed, these buttons will work. But now there's also a separate MIDI note on for each of these buttons for them to latch. So you can just hit the MIDI button once, let go, and it will stay down and press it again and it will release. We have a small change to the way gobos and prisms can be controlled. So if I go over to the stage, back to this intimidator spot, I can go to my gobo channel here, edit it, and you'll see that there's an enable all and a disable all. So if I hit enable all, all of the gobos or prisms, if it's a prism channel, will be enabled. If I hit disable all, they'll all be turned off. So that's an easy way to control your your gobos and finally we've added a fog speed attribute so just to show you um, if i drop down here you'll see that we now have a fog speed attribute which is the same as fog volume in that if you want to control it you go over to the show page you go to the fog uh, button here on the right where you can configure the settings. You now have, as well as fog volume, you've got fog speed. So whichever channels are connected to fog speed will respond to this slider going up and down and same with the fog volume. We've also made a small change. This used to be called continuous, now it's called manual. So now for more advanced foggers and hazers, you have a lot more control. Okay, that concludes the summary for software version 1.3.1. Thanks everyone, we really appreciate you and uh, we're really excited to be putting this out for you. Take care.